dragons. We all have them. Now it's time to slay those. Welcome to our daily devotional where we're learning to slay dragons. It's day two. Admit you have a dragon. Jack Kent wrote a children's book called There's No Such Thing as a Dragon. The story is about a little boy named Billy Bixby who was surprised one morning when he woke up to discover a nice little dragon in his room. When he told his mother, she said, There's no such thing as a dragon. Soon the dragon was downstairs, even sitting at the kitchen table. But Billy's mother ignored it. Everyone ignored it. Soon it was so large that when a truck drove by, the dragon chased it down the road, carrying the Bixby house on his back. What if my dragon is already out of control? What if it has been growing for years and is a full-blown monster with three heads and a zip code of its own? For Billy Bixby, the key was admitting there was a dragon. Each time he acknowledged the dragon's existence, it got smaller and smaller. Put simply, this is the principle of admitting you have a problem. Even secular psychologists and 12-step programs such as Alcoholics Anonymous require people who want to help admit they have a problem. Unless you become honest about your problems, there will never be a solution. The biggest fear is the unknown. Mm -hmm. And not facing it. Yes. Is what really causes the stress. Face your dragons. What's it say in James 5? James 5, 13 through 16 says, Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with the oil of the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has a great power as it is working. So our dragons are what draw us to sin. And it's time to slay them. Five days to slay your dragon on version. This was day two. Join us each day on diggingdeeper.us for these devotionals. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you are the Almighty, the one with the great sword, the one who can slay any dragon. Mm -hmm. You give us that power, Lord. We first must realize that we have to face them. We must identify and face the dragons, and they will disappear. Lord, we give this day to you, and we ask that you bless this day and give us an opportunity to help others to slay their dragons as well. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.